Hi guys, Mojo Reeves here, and today we're gonna take a look at the Gamer First Iron Man. So yeah, let's take a look at the box art. As you can see, it's just pretty plain, simple at the front, at the side. I really like the side designs. Really like it. The way they all pop out. I'm really excited for the game. I know a lot of people aren't, but I really hope the game does well. So yeah, if you want to, you can take a pause. Let's zoom in on the text. So yeah, that's the box art, let's put it aside. So let's take a look at this figure. So here he is, out of the package. Let's take a look all around. Looks pretty good, pretty dope. Back. So yeah, pretty good. What I did with this figure is, I gave it a wash. Uh, first thing I did, with this figure is I gave it a metallic paint job I spray painted it taped all the golden pieces off so I don't hit them with the spray paint after that uh, I gave it a nice black wash so everything pops and after that I gave it a shiny after spray so everything stays nice and won't get messed up so that's all I did with the figure to customize it and I have to say, after uh, after the customized work, it looks pretty good. Uh, because in the beginning, it just looks way too uh, plasticky. Uh, it looked and it felt real cheap. So after the custom work I did, after the time I put in this figure, I really like this figure, and I really hope the game does well. So yeah, let's take a look at the articulation on this guy. It's pretty good. So crunch all the way forward really nice all the way to the back so you can look up it's something that I really like especially with flight figures flight poses and stuff the arm goes all the way around 360 goes up to here because of the shoulder pads you can move it higher but the shoulder pads will yeah it will morph a little bit it might damage a little bit so it will stick out I don't really mind you just pull, push the back just a little bit hair dryer hot water and you can fix it right back so that's it uh, double elbow which is okay and what this one does has and uh, 80 years and the first he doesn't have it's a pack on the blast arm so he can go back all the way like this it's something that I really like for his blast effects especially when you're doing stop motion with this guy you can have him like blasting which is really good as for the legs go all the way up like this goes back not that much back because of the butt uh, double knee joints which is pretty good I like it uh, as for the ankle just a little bit ankle pivot and no toe pivot so I don't really think this figure needs it but it might be off for some people as for the overall look I hear a lot of people complain about the game design but you have to remember uh, the game will allow you to have more suits in the game so it's not just only the gamer first suit you have multiple suits so if you doesn't don't like this design grab another suit that's it man I really hope the game does well uh, the figure comes with two blast effects pretty, pretty simple pretty plain it does the job uh, abomination lag for the gamer first as I can see it, the leg on has pretty good articulation so this figure might be actually pretty good if you have the whole figure so yeah let's throw this away now let's take a look at the two fists that he came with he comes with two closed fists so all I did for the fist is I painted the inside white so it pops more and give it a black wash after that so yeah pretty dope and for the hands to swap them just push it out grab it out put the black fist in and that's it and you swap the hands so yeah I really like this Iron Man figure especially after the paint job that he deserves so yeah Let's take a closer look with other figures and for size comparison. I just put on the 80 years anniversary hat uh, from the Tony Stark 
uh, on this Iron Man. But as you can see, the neck and the ball joint is too long. So yeah, as you can see, this is the size comparison. Let's take this one aside. I will show you guys what I mean. I pop it off. If I put this one a little back here, just like this, the head should supposed to be a little bit more like this. Sit a little bit lower. If you want to, you can modify the head. Just drill a little bit out of here. But I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, let's pop the head back on. And here he is next to the 80 years anniversary Iron Man Marvel Legends, also custom that I did. As you can see, uh, it's a lot more bulkier, it's more comic accurate, and the head's a lot way bigger. So, let's face him straight, so you can see what I mean. He has more build, he's taller, so yeah. And here he is next to all the Avengers. Uh, I did a custom head sculpt on the Hulk and a custom on the door. Uh, I'm still waiting on the Mayfax door. It's on its way, so just be patient with me. The review will be up soon. But yeah, you can mix mix and match with these figures. I think it can look pretty good. Last but not least, here he is next to his counterpart, the Gamer First Spider-Man Mayfax version that I also made custom. So yeah, I really like this look. Uh, I really hope the game does well so yeah let's pray on that so yeah guys thanks for watching I hope you guys are doing good I hope you guys are doing being safe stay safe out there look at your health and most of all don't let social media fuck up your head stay sane job bless be good people later guys